what's up guys? This is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. And uh, the eagle-eyed amongst you, the ones with good memories or those watching in the playlist, uh, will look at these armies and go, this wasn't the force composition you had last time, and it is not. So I'm going to take a minute to uh, have a bit of a discussion about that. So the last episode I talked about the game crashed and then I had to replay, I had to uh, replay a turn to get where I was before. Well, that happened again, and I did manage to actually re I managed to trace where it came from, and it was these. There were previously two small Russian units on these bridges, and in a, in a completely identical save, the only thing I did that resulted in a crash was destroy these units. So I made peace with Russia to get them off my territory. Which is unfortunate, because I didn't want to make peace with Russia, but if that's how we go about solving this problem, then that's the way to do it. So I've got my small force under Edward Braddock, he's going to go up to the front line, uh, up towards near Komi. He's going to be ready to push, then we've got this force under Alvin Veer, it's actually going to come down to the south here, ready to hit Kazan. We'll hit Kazan, then swing south. Um, in future, I mean, it's not a massive priority now, we've not got a, a w active war on this front. Um... But yeah, so I have had to re redo a couple of turns, so there will probably be things that haven't been done that I have done before and stuff like that, but at least in principle, I wanted to end um, sieging Madrid because that's where we left last episode. So we've got a bigger army against us, plus not necessarily a bad thing um, because we know the, the aim of the game is to knock out um, the garrison generally across the board and then without letting any of them rout or retreat and then we storm in before these guys actually get involved so let's begin let's take the city of madrid so if we if we can successfully take the uh take the city quickly then we will uh be able to uh knock out well not knock out but do significant damage to the rest of the troops in spain then we can maintain our advance and push up in towards Paris. And then, I've got some inter inter something interesting about Paris to say when we get to the uh, the appropriate point, because this, this is the second time recording this episode. Uh, but yes, don't want to jump the gun, especially when we're about to attack a city. So, this is a slightly revised force composition mix for this army, because I wanted to... Uh, make my odds as good as possible I can attack. So two guns up front, I'm going to smash that section of the wall here. Two carcass shotting howitzers up front, then I'm going to drop one about here to fire it on the front wall. So our line infantry plus rangers are going to push up front. I might put a, a Hessian line and a Swiss Grenadier to push up the right flank. But then the remainders, all these Highlanders and Grenadiers and Marines, they're all going to be pushing up the front. Or pushing up around the flank. So there's my general. So you men attack that section of the wall. You attack those marines, you attack that provincial line unit. You're also attacking those marines. Seems like a good a good result. We will be dropping some... I may as well start doing it now actually. Because my howitzers can successfully attack the centre as well within range. That's just because... Ah, oh, that's because it's in in a round shot. Switch to quick line. And there we go. So the way the way this um, explosive shot works, even though it, it's exploding inside the house, there's like an area of effect that it produces that's still causing damage to the center. Yeah, so we want to try and knock out the Firing on my gun teams. Yeah, this is why I want to keep. Oh, that's a great hit. 
against the inf the Gr Grenadar Austin Marina. And this line infantry here. Okay, I might actually make this unit change targets and go after the garrison this garrison unit. But let's speed up time because chiefly we are just watching artillery blow holes in things. I'm watching some good damage being done in the centre. I might actually get you guys to switch to round shot and attack that section of the wall because there's a real chance we could trap all these units up here. Okay, let's switch my gunners to attack that side, get my howitzers to attack here because my field artillery do more damage. So we want them to think they can get through here for as long as they can. It's a good hit. I might have knocked out one of my guns. Nope, still up and kicking. So the howitzer is going to knock out. Well, they're actually not 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 attacking what I want them to attack. Yeah, go after this section of the wall. Got to make sure I do it on slow speed, otherwise sometimes things can get a bit funky. There we go. 99. Section the wall down. Oh, it looks like they're broadly most of the, most of the guys are going to escape. In which case, then. Okay, lots of these guys at the centre are pretty weak. Let's get this unit on the flank to go after dropping shots on the mortar garrison. On the garrison mortar unit. Relying on that area of effect. There we go. It's knocked out a good number of the crew. Let's get my line to advance. Same with my flanking companies. Push, push like around the rear. Okay, who's still firing round shot? You. Quick loan some of the provincial line up on the wall here. Yeah. You start dropping shells on. Focus on this, these guns here. They're short. Uh, the question is. There we go. I want them to run out and man the guns. Yeah, there we go. They're starting to fire. So let's begin. Let's get everyone running. Try and drop some quick lime on these chaps just to soften them up a bit before my grenadiers arrive. These guys should have been engaging that section of the wall, but a bit of a targeting snafu. Boom, 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 boom. They'll get in. Okay, let's actually make the Scottish Line Unit scale the wall. You hold ground beneath them. Swiss Grenadiers scale Marines. Scale. One Line Infantry Unit scale near the gate. These two units hold up. Okay, you need to try and drop... No, no, no. I don't think I need to worry about dropping an emergency line just yet. Let's get these guys up to the... I was about to say up to their respective breaches. They don't have any respective breaches yet. You 
get my grenadiers and so on up there. These guys are sadly going to be a bit of a sacrificial lamb. That's a bit of friendly fire there. Not tell a lot of friendly fire. That's some of my, my some of my Scottish line infantry are going to not be well. They're not happy at all. Down. You guys form square. And you guys get ready to also form something. Look at that. That miss from that howitzer unit just absolutely annihilated my... my uh, annihilated my line infantry. The rush is on. How it says switch to quick climb and keep attacking in the. Just, everyone just keep dropping shells in the centre. There we go. We've got our breach on the right. You men attack the militia to help my marines. We've captured the gatehouse, so let's. Advance these men inside. And there we go, Regiment Etranger engaging the militia. As are these Swiss Grenadiers. Yeah, that Scottish Line Infantry unit was not going to stand. Oh, looks like we've got the first reinforcements are coming in. All my howitzers, well, these remaining howitzers, halt fire. You men are attacking the garrison line. You guys push in. You guys try and get off the wall. Okay, these marines can get down here as well. Advance you guys up. We've got one unit. I want you to put them on the back, not through them, but alright. You men attack the militia. You guys attack the general's bodyguard. So you men are doing a good work on those chaps. You guys are going to drop into square to help protect the rear. You men charge the Swiss pikes on the flank. You men attack the mortars. You guys attack the general. Actually, you no, know, you guys better charge the flank of that how it's the unit there. General's dead. Push on to attack the mortars. Yeah, they are coming in. You guys, okay, you get, try to run my Scots into the centre as we've got the, uh, as we've got the position. Form up. Just get these grenadiers and we should get everyone off the wall. So the Marines are going are gonna to knock out the Swiss Pikes and then start to fight that unit of Swiss Pikes. These men here are going to load and fire in their own time at the enemy. key is to keep the square holding because these this cavalry is trying to get in but they can't there's one unit of militia 
left. Let's get Rogers Rangers up here. They can engage the 20th in the rear. You men smack down those grenadiers. See, this is the thing about attacking cities, is that you have to, you really have to annihilate everyone. You can't let them get away. Let's get Roger's Rangers formed up. You guys charge in there. You men hold fire. All my artillery is now pretty useless, and I could retreat them. Get my regiment Etranger off the wall. My Scottish line infantry here pulled through. You guys charge into the flank there. You're fight. You fired a volley into them. That was a bad idea. The 15th regiment can stay what they stay doing what they're doing. These guys are all pushing up to try and support through the gatehouse. But I'm, I fear it does not matter. Because Madrid is taken. That was a bit messier than I would have liked. But at least no reinforcements came in and got damaged. So there we go. They've only got 500 men remaining. Or 500 men of the units that attacked us. There are still Spaniards about. So Ladio Hernandez has been caught and, dis and uh, caught and killed. You men begin sort of replenishing but let's push one unit up to act as a breakwater so we've got madrid under control even though well the university is broken so that's why they couldn't do anything to stop us um let's get cavalry just to chase those chase those um gun those ships out and engage them in battle Oh, we lost a bunch of ships. And our general. And our admiral. Oh well. So let's get you guys all into Sandy Bay. Although actually they're all... Get all of you guys into Cadiz. Okay, soon we are going to start kick-starting our, our naval... Our naval production. Um, so, what I said about Madrid, Paris earlier, as you can see, Paris currently has no defences, and it doesn't have any defences. And I have a really good army sat right here. Well, what happened last time was I attacked, and that Paris caused... I don't know, something in that battle caused them to crash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it for a turn and get some replenishment underway. That's what I'm going to do first. Let's get these guns to chase up Andrew Hardy. Good. So in terms of tech, we've only got Salamanca we could di direct, but I don't want to direct them. Cambridge, you can go on to <clears throat> Quicklime. That's one example of um, why... That's one example of the uh, the crash that you guys know know is, isn't right, is that we were further along the road with Quicklime, but there we are. Let's hit end turn. Now, what's this? Oh. So we have technically fulfilled the objectives of the campaign. So it's take 50 regions. And we are the most prestigious force in the world, except our military leaves something to be desired, allegedly. Um, but you guys can definitely see how you can still fight the long campaign, but still feel like you've not won. Like, we've not beaten the Spanish here. We haven't beaten the, the Ottomans. Well, we have not, we're not at war with the Ottomans, but, I mean, damn, we, we aren't... There they're dangerous. Um, so that's why I do like having the long... The <clears throat> fighting world dominations is that we've not won properly yet. So let's hit end turn. Let's get some money. Let's start rebuilding my... Uh, repairing my navy. And start. let's start building up a navy to send out to the trade zones. <laughs> They're going to start moving all their uh, gentlemen out of, <laughs> out of Salamanca. Because they know this. There's no future in research here. Although I might keep it. I really might keep it because... Oh good, they're actually going to fall out, put, fall back. Um, but the reason why I was saying I might keep it is because I think it's a modern university. Which means it's, it's the top tier university that you can only get through factions building them in their home territory. So I might actually keep it. If we can hold on to it when it comes to um, 
Public order, that is. There's always a chance. Yeah, don't worry about Marathas. And don't worry, 13 colonies, I haven't forgotten about you. No way, Jose. Yeah, we're going to sail over. We're going we're gonna to start taking each trade zone. Region by region. So I'm going to want about three ships per, per node. Roughly, to start with. And I'm going to want to build a really good navy to help protect it. Protect the region. And then I'm also going to need to, need to have multiple navies in reserve to take position whenever they get battered. So... Let's get rid of this seminary because it's already broken. We've got our happiness building up here. Let's get rid of this seminary. Let's repair our buildings here because they'll help a lot with public order. Our spy push up to Turin. See what the French position is looking like in north northern Italy. Let's repair this. So if I repair the Salamanca, how much does that hate? How much do you hate us? Well, I mean, they still—they don't technically hate us yet. But they will. Let's spend a bunch of this cash to keep this army replenishing. Let's march you. Okay, you're waiting for a unit. You're going back to there. These howitzers are going to match up. Are going to meet up with Andrew Hardy. And he's going to push up and secure this bridge to the north. I should have booted out... Uh, booted out this navy here, but never mind. So, new men replenish. Well, actually, what I probably want to do is say, okay, these four rates, they've served me well. But I think their future lies in the glorious world of trade. So if I get those ships out to Sandy Bay, that's going to be the start of a small A trade fleet. And here we can start to build a a proper proper navy. So let's take Hannibal, recruit an admiral here, Norbert Vaughan. Good stuff. So let's start to build. So start to build a navy. And I have had people ask, why do I not just constantly build first rates? And it's because I want to try and do a bit of the historical side of it because first rates i'm over over still over building first rates now i think historically um but also because i like having some of the smaller well nothing smaller than third rates but third rates are faster than my heavy fleets so heavy ships so i can get them into good positions when i'm doing some firefighting so let's push you guys up you can stay where you are you're going to push around to support Sir William Pepperell. I'm going to steal a... well, have you got... you've got a pretty elite army as it is. Although you... oh no, you... sorry, you need um, howitzers. So let's disband that demi cannon unit because we no longer need demi cannons. Can I get 24 pounders? I don't think I can. No. So let's get two 12 pounders. And then this army is going to start. Actually, let's put... So ordinarily I wouldn't want to have two military shipyards so close together, but actually I, I, I've got lots of shipyards. So... Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to capitalise on all of their capabilities yet. I mean, here, you guys can try, try, churn out a couple of third rates. Although we've got a new town in New Granada. Good, I can still build a craft workshop there. But yeah, I've still got... They're, they're, they're ready, they know what's going to happen. And you're... You're actually in a good position there. Although, I should just push you guys up to here. Ready to jump on to Williamsburg. More? I would like another army up and over around here. Onward! No, I've still got um, military access with them. Yeah, I want an army up here so that I can engage this 
stacked before they drive west and cause too much trouble. This army is going to take Albany. Okay, I think that works. Okay, let's hit end turn one more time. Yeah, Archangels can need better roads. Oh, let's see, they made it across the bridge before I could stop them. Yeah, the agents, some of the agents are going to come back because they know that I'm actually going to uh, t repair the university, not destroy it. As far as they know, um, they may hate me way too much. The Russians are consolidating in the Eastern Front. But I don't think they're going to be much of a problem. The main problem is going to be that Prussian... Ottoman alliance when they eventually declare war on me. That's going to be very, very awkward. Very awkward indeed. But the Danish seem to be holding out really well, which I'm really glad about. Um, normally they get gobbled up by Sweden way too quickly, but now they seem very, very well, pretty dominant. Barbary States are coming. Hopefully they're going to go after the 13 colonies. Got another rake here in Spain. Yeah, they're minus three, so let's exempt them from tax. So this agent can go up to Strasbourg to get some intelligence on what the Württemberg forces are up to. What grades you to a coaching in? What grades you to a water power cloth mill? A couple of global trading companies, a couple of couple of industrial upgrades that are just I love these this sort of tier industrial upgrade I really like yeah let's upgrade the farm um, Florida I've got upgrades so I know global trading companies are very worthwhile but they are very expensive I'd rather upgrade a wider variety of things and and get my money's worth. So like Cuba would need to upgrade to a global trading company because if I try and upgrade these plantations too much they will start to complain. But yeah I've got so much stuff I could upgrade like I probably need to upgrade some stuff like this if I'm going to be fighting in the Americas. And then what I do need to do is take this sloop out here, get my agent Ralph Allen aboard ship, sail him out to Europe. Because New Haven, you are not going to be university anymore. But let's hop back to Europe. Okay, yeah, I actually ran you all out at Lisbon. That's not what I wanted to do. So let's send William Pepperell. Which you can push up to them. You guys get ready to start to clear out Bilbao. You guys can't get to the bridge, but I want to do this. Well, no, I don't want them to get too close to the bridge, because when I push up and hit Mr. Fajardo, I want him to retreat across the bridge. That's where I want him to go. So Gibraltar's got some Dragoons, which we can chase up to Cartagena. Let's upgrade the military governor's barracks, and let's upgrade fortifications here, just because we know the Ottomans are interested in it, as much as they pretend they don't, as much as they want to pretend they aren't. Good, so this army's replenished. You tr Okay, these fifth rates. Okay, let's do a bit of... Okay, let's move this fifth rate up to Casablanca. Let's recruit another fifth rate and that's the start of another trade fleet. What ships are they actually? Heavy war galleons and sixth rates. I mean war galleons would be fluffy to capture but I can produce war galleons as well. I mean they're Spanish heavy war galleons. Well, I'm not. If they were capital ships. Capital ships are the bottleneck. They're the expensive things to build. So let's get Another two third rates on the go. 
Actually, no, let's not, because I need to send you. Well, first of all, what can I recruit? What can I build here to increase your happiness? Nothing except an army board and an artillery upgrade. So let's send you guys against Mr. Fajardo and push him north of the river. Like I said, I, I could attack Paris. No, but last time I did it, it caused the entire episode to crash. So I'm going to give it a few turns before I try that again. And what I do, I'll probably end up having to save scum it just because I don't want it to happen again, whatever it was. So, let's drop some guns up here. Let's take some infantry here. We'll put some infantry here. Drop one more set of guns up here on this high ground because it's a lovely, lovely position. We've got some good fields of fire there. Let's drop our howitzers. And then let's put our Cairo guards on the left flank. And another smaller brigade further out on the right. Dot our cavalry around. Because I do, I do want to push. Let's just advance you guys at double time to engage the Irish Brigade. Although they are being hit by our howitzers. Field artillery is engaging proper targets. So make sure you are engaging their demi cannons. Pikemen. Yes, yeah, so you've marched those guys a bit out of position here because they're going to get caught out. But be careful, they're pikemen, which they're advancing. So you men can see them over the crest of that hill, although I'm slightly higher than they are. Yes. They're receiving some return fire. So here comes their their cavalry charging in. Go on the 88th on oh, the 88th regiment. Oh no! Oh, they're shooting at the infantry instead. Okay, they're just going to run along our line. I mean, that can't go well for them. Okay, my left flank, push up and take the hill. Where's my other cuirassier? Okay, let's get one of my howitzers to hit this Walloon Guard unit. Get another howitzer to hit this Swiss Guard. Actually, no. One of them to aim at the Tercio Pikemen. And they've got Swiss Pikes as well. Let's straighten out this corner a bit. Okay, there we go. We are engaging. Let's check my cavalry charge has gone off okay. It has. Let's get my cavalry out of there. Get this infantry to curl up at close range but onto the flank of the Regimento de Soria. To be honest, let's get both my howitzers to focus on working the Swiss pikes. My heavy cavalry can. Well, one unit of heavy cavalry can flank around. Good hit. The Royal Cairo Infantry Guard are opening up. 
but they've been broken. Keep moving, cavalry. Okay, so my left flank has folded. So let's take you two units. Push up. Although you might actually have to stay facing that way, engaging the square. You men are going to push up here, around this feature. Ah, oh, no, I didn't let my... I wasn't micromanaging my cavalry properly. Keep running. Oh, and they were, then there were guerrilla mercenaries hidden back there. Yeah, they routed. That's that's fair enough. That was co incom. That's uh, incompetence on the part of their commander there. So the seventh regiment, whichever way they focus, they're getting hit. They're getting shot in the flank. Yeah, my heavy cavalry is back here, having a great time with their artillery. So you men pivot. The Swiss pikes have been knocked back. Okay, so these men are going to push up to try and chase away the guerrilla mercenaries. Okay, you guys keep on... Keep on running. Can't let it happen again. Rid of mercenaries out on the flag. You just push right up into them. Is that a short round that's killed my men? Fight the general's bodyguard until the until the uh, pikes get too close. Then get out of there. So the infantry that's up high up on the hill can keep engaging them. Good. You guys should chase off those mercenaries. Good. A bit of extra artillery fire. Help push those Irish brigade back. We've killed the general. So now my Cairo bodyguards are going to come storming out from the from the trees onto the flank of the 10th, but they've also had enough. There's one unit of troops gone. There's still another unit up here somewhere. Tercia pikemen are still on the move. No, oh, no, are they over here now? Okay, you guys chase down the Swiss Grenadier unit. Let's get my general up and involved. Yeah, don't worry about the Regimento de Soria. Guns up on the hill, folks fire them. So get my oh my hearts as a folks firing at them as well. Got like one unit of demi cannons with no guns charging around. Good artillery shot there. Yeah, kill the grenadiers. So they have to push up because it's a skirmish unit, so they will outrange us. I mean, most of these units aren't going to be capable of doing anything. Eleven grenadiers. Okay, let's get you guys 
storming more towards them directly. Let's get our artillery to engage some of these targets. I mean, I've got a... I, I want to say line infantry then. Oh, some good howitzer shots against the 7th. They won't stand. And these men are going to advance to real close range. Come on, take out the Swiss Grenadiers. And they've got another infantry unit to take out. Damn right, going to continue. So all my artillery, stop. You're not going to go after the infantry de Soria because you've got uh, some Walloon guards to kill over here. Same with you. You guys are going to push up and take out the gunners. Because I mean, I'm not so bothered about the Tercio Pikes. Well, the gunners look like they, they're done for. Um, let's just set this infantry to generically charge down and attack these gunners. Although, although it looks like they might just have to open up and shoot. Okay, let's get both of them to attack these Walloon guards. I do want to kill these. I do like attacking and destroying foot guard units. Yeah, they shot the, that gun team down. It takes them a few volleys. And then all chase down these irregulars. You don't have any spikes to save you now. We should get them. Well, yeah, we're definitely going to get them before they route. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's pushed them back. 600 men, they lost 2,500. And Mr. Fajardo himself has been struck down. Make ready. There you go, we're driving the Spaniards from Spain. That's what we've done. Successfully. So they're a bit grumpy, but what do you expect from their clamour for reform? Actually, I was about to upgrade that to a happiness building when clearly I need it to be a church school. I need to start generating some priests and sending them up through France. Well, soon I will, anyway. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade you to a great arsenal. Why not? And then this army, once it's ready, will likely end up pushing... Well, it's going to stick around here, but likely he's going to push across North Africa. Or maybe they might go and hit Cagliari. So Salamanca needs research. So let's set them to work on... Well, it's not really a huge amount, is there? Improved coppering. There we go. So let's hit end turn. Yeah, it's my reinforcement units all push up to the front lines. I should really build a uh, fleet around Great Britain to help try and bottle up both the Spanish and the oh, French. Oh, you madman. Let's. <laughs> Let's fight one more big uh, Spanish army and knock them back towards France. So then chances are of my three armies I've got pushing, one will go to north, uh, northern, northern Italy. Two will push up towards Paris, and then the third army at Madrid will push up when they're ready. Okay. It's a pretty neat defensive position here up on this hill, so let's get... Well, neat to a degree. I mean, it's not so great for 
most of my artillery. But I think we'll manage. So let's put some line infantry guards over here. I want to try and push up and secure this hill. I mean, this this map looks very familiar. <laughs> In front of my guns, I want to put a strong infantry force, which we're going to push up. And then nearer the town, let's pair up some good and bad infantry together. Let's put some pikes in the town. Both my cavalry can stay out on the left. There you go, I want something like this. Get my Hessian Jaegers inside the house. Let's get this line infantry guard unit around here. Let's get my pikes wide. Cavalry push up. Hello, Lancer Guards. What say you, men? Are we going to have sound bugs? I think we are. Nah, nuts. So the third Lancer Guards are pushing up, but they are not going to last. I mean, they've got, they have got they very much do have a passion for my native African infantry because they can't form a square. Uh, you guys drop into square. You guys are bugged out trying to occupy the house. Let's get you out of there. There we go, the Spanish are knocked out. Switch to regular line formation. Got some Spanish Marines on the left flank. But my infantry are going to absolutely mow them down. Okay, let's get my Hessian Jaeger here, I suppose. So my, yeah, my infantry's pouring some excellent fire into their ranks. You've knocked back one cavalry square unit. One cavalry unit with our squares. Let's retreat. Okay, you guys keep forming square. These Hessian units that currently have no real have no real job. Let's keep how it's just focusing on the tricky units. Let's smash down the Spanish bandoleros. Let's get our heavy cavalry round ready to start chasing down the likes of the 12th Regiment. Yeah, they've been cut down. You men stop firing, you're just shooting into the back of your own square formation. Half a shot coming in. Excellent shot. Smash into that line infantry unit, still forming up. Quickly before they Fire off a cheap volley at close range. Take them out. Okay, you men form up. The Hessian Jaegers also form up and engage the infantry de marine. You guys chase down those actual marines. Uh, Infanteria de Marina. So you're chasing down those guys, you're chasing down them. 
pull back my pull back my uh, my pikes to push out my main infantry line to keep them focused on the threats ahead of them if you can see what's happening they're starting to chase down my cavalry I need them to maintain focus on my infantry line. Yeah, you try take out those guys. So my general keep on running. Let's get both the howitzers working those. Well, to be honest, get everyone working those Swiss pikes. Take out the 30th Regiment of Line. Okay, the more damage we do to them with conventional, through conventional means, is fewer that can screw up the chances of our lifeguards doing some excellent work. So they should be engaging the Swiss Pikes, which they are. So if they can fire off an exceptional volley. I would like to try and chase them down. Good, you're doing some good work on those foot guards. Bandileros, General's bodyguard. Okay, you're gonna have to just, just keep running because the line infantry is trying to chase you down. Artillery fire all switched to round shot and redirect against the 13th regiment. You men all hold your fire. New generals against the militia, that'll take them a bit longer. Damn right, we're going to continue. Where's that marine unit? There it is, okay. So just keep everyone busy. Gobble up those kills, and especially as these are such exquisite cavalry, every chevron we get on them is just going to do... It's going to be so good. Okay, you go after the foot guards. Okay. Okay, help your general go after the militia because I doubt these guys are too far away from the edge of the map. Just keep on hacking them to pieces. Good. Now you guys chase down the remaining guerrillas. Excellent. They've chased the marines away from the edge of the map. Lots of very elite units have been destroyed. These guerrillas are going to escape. But still, we've done a huge amount of damage to them. And lots of those are some of their most elite units. Yeah, lifeguards have... Yeah, they've got the experience up. Swiss Swiss line have actually gone up an experience level by only, with only losing one man. That's the, exactly the kind of thing you want to see. Yeah, they're going to have to shore up their uh, front with us because they know they can't afford to wait. I do need to keep building up my front against the Ottomans though because they are they are a concern I also need to build that upgrade that building in Moscow to a church school begin start spreading begin to start spreading good old Protestantism through Eastern Europe
Yeah, 13 colonies. Obviously, again, I also need to start beefing up the 13 colonies, but... You know, you really do need to focus your effort somewhere. And the 13 colonies are the more stable front. Yep, here come the Danish. I was going to say, don't you dare land on my shore. I mean, you can land and take France if you like. It just means I'll have to destroy you. Okay, here come the Barbary States. They're coming back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Trait. Oh, <laughs> immediately dead. Um, I mean, it's probably a bad idea him introducing himself as Tom. Like, Who? That doesn't sound very Ottoman. Uh... Upgrade across the board. Oh, I haven't actually repaired Astrakhan. That's probably won't help. So you men up here are going to recruit. Two heavy cavalry. Two 12 pounder howitzers. Two Swiss guards. Two, uh, two, two regiments of foot artillery. Not colonial lines. That'll take 16 turns to get here. It'll take a long time for them to get all these troops, but that's fine. New town emerges. Baton Rouge. Let's give you a craft workshop, upgrade your steam sugar mill. Tech advanced, so we've got steam engine. And you've gone straight on to steam pump land drainage, yeah that's probably okay. I mean why is that? This is requires classical economics and I've got it. Have I not built any water powered cloth mills? That's probably why. Oh no, there's one right there. Hmm. Just keep recruiting four units you guys can have. So there we go. Here at Vilnius. You're the same. So, so much stuff needs doing. Thanks right, to Norton. You can stand firm. So Moscow's recruiting all of the troops from that force to the north. Fleet arrives. Well, fleet, quote unquote. Let's get this agent ashore and into Salamanca. Oh, did he not? Did I not put him on the right? Ha! Huh. Agent, agent, agent. Eastern Atlantic. Oh, okay, okay, no, my mistake. I, I was just missing, missing it. Go there. Dry land. A blessing. <laughs> there we go. So Madrid, so Madrid's chilled out. Uh, let's start to build another army, but it will also act as a garrison. So you guys have got space for two more ships. So let's take these two third rates, get them up to Cadiz, there we go. So what's the best trade zone to go for? Still Ivory. Although it is, I do want to have a, a navy for my, um, well, for any, any reasons that you could want a navy. So I might actually keep that as a actual fighting navy. So down here will probably be where I focus my naval, my, my main military naval production. Let's get you guys up to Casablanca. Let's recruit a probably desert warrior. Might be cheaper. Yeah, desert warrior to occupy this naval hospital. There we go. Start with two heavy first rates, which are mighty expensive. So you're going to push on 
and I'm probably going to auto that. Bilbao is secured. It probably doesn't need to be a, tr a fishing port. It could be something else, but yes. we're not so bothered about that at the moment. So you men push up and take the bridge. Andrew Hardy, Fling Gardner, you're all replenishing. Well, I mean, the, the there is no you can't cross there. So let's just push you up to the bridge as well. Yeah, Madrid's got a lot of resistance to foreign occupation. Once we get our church school built, we'll start to do some good converting. Yeah, lots of units recruited. Hey, we've got another rake. So let's send this rake to Warsaw. And you've nearly converted all of Riga, so let's get you guys Hi, up sir. to the front line near St. Petersburg. I shall rest. Good stuff. Uh, let's send out the little guy defiant to burn Lahav. Because yeah, I, that was a bit of a bit of a screw up. That was. Although what I might do is take. My galley defiant out. I might end the episode like it because that would that would work. Let's attack Paris because look, big block of militia, big block of mortars that are powerful but not overly so, and they got some reinforcements coming in from this army to the south, which might be. It looks like it might be. It looks, well, it looks like it's a fresh army, but. Looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the attack on Paris. Cheers everyone.